Okay guys, I'm going to share with you today the way that I hire for a uh, project manager specifically. I do the same kind of philosophy for pretty much every uh, position we hire for, uh, but this one is specifically for project managers. And when I say the same philosophy, I mean I basically I make people do homework and do an assignment to see if they're really qualified for the position. This slide deck I'm kind of going through right now is something that I would give to a candidate after their first interview. And so our process for hiring is I, I figure out a position that we need. I go to ziprecruiter.com and then we'll put, put something maybe on LinkedIn and we'll, just, we'll send it out there to the job boards and we'll start to receive applicants. And as we're going through resumes and as we're going through people we think that might be qualified, we'll do a first interview just to kind of get a gauge for who they are, go through their resume, ask some pre qualifying questions and if they sound like they're a good fit that they should continue with the interview process I'll send them this homework and it's their job to get it back to us by the deadline and then we review the homework as a team and and pick from there our top candidates who we want to maybe do a final interview to or or make an offer for and so this slide deck is called a uh, consideration qualification deck and so uh, the first few slides, I'm just giving them an overview of our agency. And so I'm not gonna go through that. It's basically like, here's what our core services are. Here's how uh, our agency is structured. And then uh, starting here on slide six, we go over the job. And so the first slide, I, I really, I don't like long, uh, drawn out text and so we try to really simplify this so the position for the project manager is pretty simple we're looking for a detail oriented self-starting leader to manage our creative team and maintain close connections and open communication with our clients to ensure creative and marketing projects get completed within scope on time and on budget you're going to be responsible for the management and delivery of creative and marketing projects across various departments. So that's what the job is. The types of projects can include brand identity design and redesign, brand launch and relaunch, large website design and development, large creative and marketing campaigns, and video production. And so those are the types of projects you'll be managing. And the responsibilities include planning and implementing large creative projects, directing and leading the work of our technical staff, evaluating new creative and marketing strategies and procedures, ensuring deadlines and cost targets are met, maintaining required project documentation, and serving as the liaison between business and creative slash marketing aspects of the project. So that's what the job is, that's what the responsibilities are, and the qualifications of this person is a strong project management skill, a strong analysis and critical thinking skills, deadline and detail oriented, strong leadership qualities, previous experience in branding, design, web development, or marketing is a plus, but if you've had other project management experience, we are open. So again, I, I don't care if people have an extensive list of experience, but for this particular role, I wanna make sure that they at least know what it's like to get a big complex project, break it down into smaller phases, then see it through to completion. So uh, we do offer training, but I don't want somebody completely green in this position. And so uh, they're, they're, that's what the job is. And if it sounds like a good fit, then we'll move forward and say, okay, well, here's how to apply. Send a single email with an intro letter and a resume. By this time, they've likely already given that. Three references, and then a PDF, Word doc, or slide deck with uh, the project execution plan. And so the project execution plan, this is the main part. This is what their homework is. And so I, I show them this slide and I kind of go through it with them. I say, we want to see your approach to project management for the types of work we do. If hired as our project manager, you're gonna be immediately given projects to oversee. And so again, when, when they're brought on, there's not this like two month ramp up here to where they get training. There's gonna be training provided while we throw them to the wolves and they're gonna be overseeing projects pretty much immediately. We're not looking for a comprehensive understanding of how we already do project management. So if this person is applying and doing the homework, I don't expect them to know uh, to the T what our process is. Rather, we're looking for their critical thinking skills that demonstrate how they would approach planning out this project. And so I, I include a gray box here on the right, which is a hypothetical client that is based off of characteristics of very real clients that we serve. And so we, uh, I, I go through the client and then I want them to create a short project execution plan that clearly outlines how they plan to complete this project by the deadline. 
Keep in mind, they'll have access to, uh, to manage our entire creative fulfillment team, including graphics, content, photo, video, web design, and development. So just assume that you have all of the assets at your disposal. How are you gonna plan out this project? And so uh, I'll read to you this hypothetical scope of work. Now I got this from basically the way we do proposals. And so if we're in the sales process and we're, we're, just, we're going through uh, proposals and contracts with a client, this is really what the proposal would look like. It shows an overview of the client and the situation and then a clear scope of work. And so this client, Acme Healthcare, a hypothetical client, is a large healthcare provider serving underserved communities with quality comprehensive healthcare, including, and I give a list of all the different healthcare services they provide, they have 100 locations and 26 main health service lines. So that's who the client is. The challenge is that they have old and outdated marketing and communication material that does not accurately communicate all they do, nor does it demonstrate the breadth and the quality of their services and their facilities. So they have a challenge, they have a brand positioning challenge here. Uh, the client is a little embarrassed about their marketing materials and content. They're not doing a good, good job of positioning their brand, meaning communicating the right message to the right audience. So I talked about here, here's the client, here's their challenge. Now their goal is a total brand relaunch, uh, which is a logo, brand identity, brand messaging, updated website, social media, and digital overhaul, and redesigning all of their marketing material. And so that's what they're, they're hiring us to do. They want us to start in January and complete in April. So again, as the project manager, I would say, here's who the client is, here's their challenge, here's their goal, and then I go over the scope of work, which is brand identity, web design, and a brand video. So logo, uh, logo redesign, branding guidelines, uh, brand messaging and copy, and then the website redesign, which is a strategy for redesigning their current 40 page website, includes an updated photo shoot, uh, includes updated messaging for the web pages, and two months, or I'm sorry, two rounds of revision. And so that's the website redesign. And then the brand video is a video that is uh, that properly positions their brand, uh, which can be shared on social media, but also a 30 second cut down to be aired on TV. And so that's who the client is, their challenge, their goals, and here's what the scope of work is. The reason I go over this homework with the, with the prospective candidate is because this is very real. This is exactly how they would receive uh, projects from the sales team and their job would then to get, be getting that project and splitting it up into phases and putting all of the tasks in each of those phases. And so what I wanna do is see how they're thinking critically and how they would approach this project. And so the execution plan includes a short paragraph that explains their approach, a tentative timeline, and we've given them the deadline, January 1st to April launch, a tentative timeline with key dates and milestones, how they plan to assign and align the team, how they plan to communicate to the client and to the team, and it should be no longer than two pages or three slides. I'm not trying to read essays from a bunch of different applicants. I want it pretty concise, and so it should be two full pages or three slides. And that is how I hire a project manager. Again, this is assuming that I've had a first interview with somebody. After the first interview, if I'm feeling good and they're feeling good and they want to continue, then uh, they would do the homework. And then from these candidates is where we would draw our finalists or make an offer to somebody. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Make sure this content gets out to more people. And if you are a creative entrepreneur and you're looking to level up, maybe you feel stuck, learn from my mistakes. At agency.butlerbranding.com, we have a free webinar that talks about everything I've learned in scaling Butler Branding since we started in 2012. I'm talking about everything I've learned from brand positioning, marketing, sales, strategy, and project management. So learn to level up for free at agency.butlerbranding.com.